Hearts in motion. How's it going, Exiles? My name is Ralph, and today I wanted to talk about the new melee totem skill, the Ancestral War Chief. You know, we saw the melee totem bro, the ancestral protector totem, the single target. I tried to make a build with him. It was sort of disappointing. It didn't exactly live up to my expectations. But now we got the melee totem cousin. And, you know, GGG's answer to the problems of the ancestral protector, you know, just the beginning of the melee totem family tree, they've got the war chief here. And basically, right here, the new totem will slam the ground with the power of your fist, your weapon or fist, creating a shockwave of force, damages all around you. I'll slap on the video while I'm talking about it here. And you must remain close for it to manifest. And that's been my huge complaint. That was my complaint about the first totem, even though, yes, it was single target and it was a good support, just having to be around it felt so clunky. It felt to totally eliminate the whole purpose, the whole idea, the whole theme, the functionality of being a totem. And, but still you get more melee physical damage. So this is a pretty big deal because now we have the Ancestral Protector, which is going to give the more attack speed, and now we have the War Chief, which is going to give us more melee physical damage. You know, so could it be worth doing the Hierophant to get the extra totems just to have these amazing single target buffs on a boss or something like that? I don't know, but still, if you can see from the gameplay here, yeah, it's all fine and dandy, and, you know, the totem is doing smash and smash, and he's killing the mobs, and this is apparently in a wasteland map, so we know it's endgame viable, but it's smashing and it's smashing, but the the person, the, the guy is willingly choosing not to use their sunder attack, and if they were to use their sunder then everything would die anyway. So that's the problem with these skills, is just having to be close to them for them to be activated, because it's cool, you know? It's like, oh, someone's fighting in battle with me. That would be cooler if you summoned him like a golem. But it's not like that. You have to place it every single time. And if you're not within range, he's not activated, it just doesn't really make sense. And this one does AoE damage, so this is clearly for clearing packs. And... I just think the skill design is a bit uh, contradictory, just being on a totem, having to be close to it. Uh, someone suggested on my first video, my first complaining about the other totem, the Ancestral Protector, they said that what if you got um, the, the melee was active all the time, the, the guy, the guy whack a mole the hilarious skill itself, and you only got the buff, in this case, the more melee physical, when you were close. And that's what I hope they do with these totems, because, yeah, it's cool that you can hold a melee weapon and hold and summon totems that use your weapon and stuff, but it seems kind of pointless to me that you're summoning a totem over there, you can summon it halfway, you know, all the way across the screen, and it does nothing, so what's the point of it being on a totem? You get what I'm saying? It doesn't really make sense. So I think the buff, you should have to be within range, and I think that the the golem, well, the sort of ancestor itself should always be active, always attacking. And then I would actually love to make more builds with this, these skills. I would like to combo the protector for single target and the war chief for the AoE. And it'd be really cool to have a single target and an AoE, you know, like six link or seven link or something with a Morohi Eki or, you know, in your chest plate. And, you know, the first comment on this post, even though this is an amazing skill, nice. But I think they need to improve the active range of this incest of this ancestor totems of this ancestor totems. Well, you know, Brianny Yagami, I couldn't agree more. First comment right out the gate, couldn't agree more. Super hyped for this skill, regardless. Maybe I'll try to make another build or whatever, but we'll have to wait and see. Also, before I go, I'd like to say sorry for the lack of content for the content drought, so to speak. School has been super super busy and things have been wrapping up and you know I've been trying to up my quality of production on the videos and that's been taking me out a lot of you know out of commission so to speak but I'm here it's summertime now not having to worry about school or you know having a little more free time and whatever I'll be able to make a lot of videos and be playing a lot of PoE hopefully really excited for that and also just so you know you guys if you're really into following my content if you're really into following what I'm up to what I'm doing I'm going to be on the, you know, casual, non-try-hard podcast. I'm going to be talking to It's Yoji and Project PT in 
uh, 10 hours from now, I think it's going to be 10 a.m. EDT, uh, you know, east coast of North America time. So, yeah, check that out if you want to see me on the podcast. Probably just going to be talking about POE mostly because that's what I talk about a lot, but also just casual stuff, you know, random everyday, whatever casual gamer talk. I hope you guys come check that out. Hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think about the Melee Totem Cousin, and uh, leave your thoughts and opinions too if you think they should change the skill. Anyway, that's all I got. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.